that there are some essential tenets that this pandemic has um, brought to the minds of many, but we have known um, for a long time that there were workers that were uh, working without adequate wages. If $600 additional uh, wages uh, to the meager unemployment that we are facing causes people to not go back to work, uh, then the wage levels that we have in our economy are not adequate. Many of the um, work that um, black and brown people are doing in this country are, they are overrepresented in terms mm -hmm. of the numbers of folks um, that work in jobs where they aren't able to um, work remotely. And they are also overrepresented in the numbers that we are seeing around folks that are, don't have access to medical care right. um, and are having the most severe um, health outcomes um, when it comes to the disease. So definitely women and black and brown workers are um, bearing the brunt of of this pandemic, but we already knew that, right? I mean, um, yeah. this uh, pandemic has just highlighted it in a way that we must address. Ninety nine percent of workers, uh, of people, work, right? And we also um, 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 go to church. We also have um, um, connections to the faith community. And, um, you know, one of the early things that I can remember, my father, um, before I knew any other scriptural references, uh, we all know if you don't work, you don't eat, right? But um, as we move, move through the scripture, Isaiah says to observe religious practice but oppressed workers is false worship, right? And so there are definitely um, different themes throughout, you know, whatever your faith practice or beliefs are um, that also support um, what we do more holistically in terms of our work life. Work is just an extension of our faith life. sometimes think that not everyone has um, bifurcated their religious life uh, from their work life, um, but only the folks um, that um, believe in a different worldview, um, a worldview that provides justice for workers, that thinks about how we protect our environment, that thinks about, you know, how we um, care for each other as a community. Um, and so, you know, some of those things are definitely natural as a part of what we think about in our faith traditions. Um, but they're also a part of the work that we do as a, as a labor movement. it talks about the one's worth is not determined by their possessions, right? And that in this moment, um, you know, we have become a society that values capital. Um, even as churches sometimes, um, we value the large contributors to our faith traditions because they keep the lights on and support the work of the church. But in this moment, life and work, you know, those are the things that have dignity and value in this world. And those are the things that as a faith community, we should be lifting up, you know, and that um, in Deuteronomy, it talks about how the Lord blesses our work and that we should share our few fruits in community. Mm -hmm.